So in this example, we've got some data that we need to plot and then decide on what's going to be an appropriate line of best fit. Now to do this, I'm going to use a piece of graph paper. This is just happens to be the piece I've got here. And I've also just got another copy of my data here that I'm going to plot. Now the first thing I need to do is choose the correct scale for my axis. Now we can see that the time goes from 0.2 up to 1.2. So I want to think about how I can do that. Now this one here is our independent variable in this experiment. That's our dependent. And by convention we often put the independent variable on the x-axis, the one which goes horizontal. Now before I actually draw the line I'm just going to work out how this fits in. So maybe if I start at 0, if I went 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 and 1.2, I can fit all the data in. So it's always worth, before you draw your first axis, just checking that your data can actually fit onto it. I can then do the same uh, for the y-axis. We're going to go up to just over 3. Now looking at this, if I went up where, um, if, if that's 0.5 and that's 1, then that's 2, that's 3, and that's 3.5. So again, that can fit in. All I need to do now is to add the numbers to my axes. and then label what these axes actually are with both the quantity, in this case time, and also the unit that it's measured in, seconds. Now, when it comes to plotting the data, again, it's always worth doing this in a pencil in case you make a mistake. Um, now, what we can see on the side is if this is 0 0.5, then every two of these small squares is equal to 0 0.1. So that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. The first bit of data is 0 0.2, 0 0.48. So it's going to be 0 0.20, which is on this line here going up. And this point here is 0.4, that's 0.5. So 0.48 is going to be somewhere nearer to the 0.5. And I'm just using a small cross to mark that. When it gets to 0.4, it's 1.04, so that's going to be just over here. So it's just worth having a look at your scale to make sure that you plot these points accurately. And then we just continue. And there we have it, we've got our points plotted. Now when it comes to putting in a line of best fit, this one here to me definitely looks like a, a nice straight line using a ruler. And uh, this one also goes through the origin, so I'm going to get my 30 centimetre ruler, just line everything up so that I've got the same amount of points above and below the line. And that's it. So this graph here, we've got um, our scale chosen appropriately, we've labelled both the x and the y axis, We've plotted points precisely and then we've done an appropriate line of best fit, all drawn in pencil.